Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelica Fitzgerald, if you are new, and if you are not new, welcome back. So today we actually have a very different video than normal. I know normally I have the skincare, I got the hair care, I got all the reviews and all of the testing and trying out videos for you guys, but I figured today we would take a tiny break, just, just a tiny one video break. Um, because I have a very, very, very special thing going on in my life, actually going on in one of my best friend's life, hence my life. Um, but my best friend is getting married next year and I'm so excited for her. Literally, this girl has been my best friend for over a decade now, since I was 11 years old. We are those classic BFFs that have talked about our wedding since we were little girls. She was my maid of honor. Now it's time for me to stand next to her on her big day. Ah, I am just so incredibly excited for her. I literally, looks like I have a hanger always in my mouth when I think about it because I'm just, oh, I'm so happy. So I wanted to take this video though because since my best friend is a bride planning her wedding in COVID slash quarantine slash not normal circumstances to share all the gifts I got for her for my first time seeing her as a engaged woman um, that are kind of COVID ideas. So if you know anybody that's getting married and you want to have a nice gift idea or you're in a bridal party or you're the maid or matron of honor and you want to go all out, I got you covered. I'm going to be Lindsay, my best friend's matron of honor. So your girl's got to go all out. I got her 10 awesome things. I think might've gotten her 11. I got so much. I don't even remember now, but I got her a lot of things that are just awesome bride gifts. So I wanted to share all of these gifts with you guys. They are super simple. I'll attach links to every single one of them down below. All of them are from Etsy. Etsy has like literally the best ideas for customizable things. One thing I want to note with Etsy across the board, whether you are ordering from your same country of origin or not, they take a long time to ship. So Personally, I would not order within a month from them just to ensure that I get everything on time. I actually did order everything a little over a month ago and some things came in as close to like five days ago. So some things came in right away. It's really hard to tell, but just a little friendly advice if you're gonna order from Etsy. Make sure to give yourself enough time if you need a gift within a week. I wouldn't suggest ordering from them unless you happen to find a supplier or someone that's shipping that can do like one day or two day shipping. So just a friendly note, but let's get right into this. Here are 10 awesome gift ideas for a COVID bride. Oh, also wanted to note, I am filming this video obviously before I give these gifts to Lindsay. We do not live in the same state, unfortunately. I actually fly out tomorrow, cannot wait to see her. But when I post this, I will have already given the gifts to her. So I know she's gonna love them and I just seriously cannot wait to see the look on her face once she's received them. But if you're watching this video, I've already given them to her. Yeah, just thought I'd share. <laughs> okay, so first and foremost, the most COVID gift you can get anybody right now is a face mask. So obviously I had to get her and her hubby to be a groom and bride face mask set because they will be planning their wedding and going to see venues, having meetings with people, wanting to go out and do wedding stuff. And so you have to have all the wedding gear that is a necessity now, masks, unfortunately, are a necessity now. So you might as well get them to be as festive as possible. So I know her and her hubs are going to love these. And if you have a friend that is planning a wedding now, I would so highly suggest these. It makes a, a challenging time a little more fun. All right, the next gift is really fun for you and the bride if you don't live close to her. I have always had a long distance relationship with my best friend. She lives in Missouri. I lived in Texas all of our relationship and now I live in California. We have never been in the same state, unfortunately. And she did this idea when I got married. So I'm doing the same thing for her. So I got us t-shirts that match. And when we're not together, we wear them and it's like two halves to a whole. So her shirt says peanut butter. And my shirt says jelly. So when we're not together, we wear these shirts and it makes us feel like we're two halves of a whole. 
and it's really sweet. When I got married, she got me the Starbucks cups and she's much shorter than I am. Everyone's much shorter than I am because I'm six feet tall. But her shirt said tall, which was like the tall Starbucks cup. And mine said grande, which was the grande <laughs> Starbucks cup. So we had those matching shirts. We wore them when we were together, of course, but it's really special when you're apart to have matching shirts. It just makes you feel closer. So this was my version of that. Also, my name's Angelica. And for those of y'all that don't know me personally, my nickname is Jelly. So it made perfect sense that I have my jelly shirt and she has her peanut butter shirt. All right, the next item that every bride needs, and there's also a million versions of these, is some kind of a bride bag. Now, I specifically got this one actually for her honeymoon because they wanna go to Greece. It might change, but as of right now, it's Greece. And I thought any tropical place, no matter where you go, this would look adorable. I got her this beach bag. It says bride on it, and it's got the little white puffs. I am so in love with this bag. It is super durable. I actually used it, sorry Lindsay, when I moved and I put a lot of stuff in here that was important to me because I know I wouldn't like hurt the bag because it's a special bag and it held a lot of stuff. So this is such a great bag. It's a good travel bag because you can kind of like shove it in a bag and it won't fall apart. Plus it says bride, it's so festive. So absolutely love this. So if you know a bride or groom that loves to cook, which my friend Lindsay and her hubs, but more Lindsay, loves to cook, this next item will be perfect for them. So I got them this deluxe Mr. and Mrs. cooking kit. So it's got a Mr. and Mrs. apron, pot holder, oven mitts, a recipe book, all of this fun wedding stuff that just makes something that you do in your everyday life have more excitement to it because you are getting married. So, I mean, let's face it, when you are engaged and you are planning a wedding, the whole world revolves around your wedding. Let's just face it. Like, it might not seem that way to the rest of the world, obviously, but to the bride, the whole world revolves around her wedding. And if you are in the bride tribe, it is our job to make sure that the bride knows that our entire world revolves around her wedding as well. So this just makes an everyday thing. I mean, we all cook every single day of our lives a little bit more fun because it's got some festive Mr. and Mrs. and wedding things. So I would highly suggest this if you know a couple that loves to cook and they're planning their wedding. Another item that's kind of a no-brainer, like we use it every single day type of thing, are cups. Now Etsy has some of the cutest cups ever for brides, for your bride tribe, for any kind of gift idea, honestly. So Lindsay's favorite color is blue, which works out really well because the bride colors are blue and white. So I got her this Mrs. Schwartz tumbler. That's gonna be her new married last name, but it's in blue, which is her favorite color. And on Etsy, this particular one, you get to customize the text color. So it can be gold or silver or pink or whatever you want. You get to customize the color of the cup. It can, it's literally can be any color you want. And then you get to customize what bow gets wrapped on top. So any of this can be whatever color you want, which I absolutely love. When I did this for my wedding, I got all my girls a little tumbler. And it was kind of similar to this, but the bow was pink, the letter was pink, the cup was white. It was a little bit different of a version, but you can do whatever you want for whatever your bride's style is. So I just thought this was so sweet. And also the good thing about putting a last name on something versus bride or future missus or wifey is that once you're married, using stuff that says bride on it, like five years after you're married, is probably not gonna be something you use, but you'll always be Mrs whatever your last name is. I'll always be Mrs. Fitzgerald now. So things that say Mrs. Fitzgerald on it, I still use because I am and will always be Mrs. Fitzgerald. So she can use this long after she gets married because it's just a cute cup with her last name on it now. That being said, again, keeping in mind her favorite color is blue, I had to get her a Mrs. Schwartz shirt. So this is just super comfy, oversized, blue and white. It says Mrs. Schwartz on it. Obviously you get whatever your bride's soon to be last name will be but things like this are so special and they can be used after your bride is married. Okay, so the next item is super simple and super fun. And also it makes sense if you were a bride like me or if you're a bride like my best friend, both of us got married in the States first before our real wedding. So I got married in France for those that didn't know, my husband and I got married in Paris. And so for our wedding to actually be legal in Europe, we had to get married in the US first. And so we kind of have two wedding dates, if you will. We celebrate them both. So even though we have our wedding anniversary, that's the France wedding, we still like to celebrate our US wedding, which was two months before our France wedding because it was such a special day and my father-in-law actually got to marry us. And oh my gosh, okay, not gonna share my entire wedding with y'all because I could easily do that, but 
Point being, if you have a bride that might be having a destination wedding or um, for other circumstances, maybe they need to get married before they deploy or something, and they kind of have two wedding dates of a, a US wedding and then the wedding party, this is a great idea. So I got her panties that say Mrs. Schwartz on them because if you get married before your technical wedding day of the ceremony and the reception, technically you are already a Mrs. before you actually have your ceremony and reception. So to celebrate the early wedding and the real wedding, honestly, the day you two truly became husband and wife, I got her these because Lindsay does have that circumstance where she is getting married in the United States before she has her big wedding. So she technically is Mrs. Schwartz already. So I got her these to celebrate the night of her US wedding. Um, and then obviously we'll have a lingerie party somewhere throughout this year and I'll get her even more stuff. But just a nice little touch of if you have a bride that's going through some kind of a situation like that where she might have two wedding dates and two wedding celebrations, um, to get some kind of a cute little lingerie item so that she can still make both weddings, if you will, just as equally special. So I would suggest getting a girl if she is having two separate wedding celebrations, some kind of a cute little lingerie piece for the first wedding. I hope all of that made sense, but yeah, in any case, I got her cute customized panties. <laughs> okay, so it goes without saying that no matter where you live, the sun comes out. Okay, I know that was random, but that means it goes without saying every bride needs a wifey cap. Some kind of a bride, future Mrs. wifey, baseball cap. Lindsay also wears caps all the time, so I just got her this really cute wifey cap. It's white, it says wifey. I'm not gonna take anything out because obviously I want her to open, but this is really, really cute. So I suggest a little ball cap for your bride. Okay, so this next item kind of got messed up in the packaging. I'll have to open it and fix it. But it's just a simple necklace that says Mrs. on it and the packaging says from Miss to Mrs. on it. I know it's probably kind of hard to read with these lights, but it's super sweet. It's something she can wear forever and just think about you whenever she has it on. So a little piece of jewelry, whatever kind of jewelry your bride is into, I totally think is an awesome gift. And really when it comes to the bride, she can never have too many misses, bride, wifey, future misses, bride-to-be items, period. <laughs> so I only have two more gift ideas, don't worry. I know gift ideas, especially for brides and and during this time can sometimes be overwhelming. So didn't want to overwhelm you guys, but also I got my girl so much stuff because she deserves it all. So the next thing is super fun, super simple. It's kind of cheesy. Um, but if you have a bride, which my bride, I'm going to call her my bride because she is my girl, but my bride um, lives in sweatshirts. Like it is her thing, if you will, like winter, spring, summer and fall. This girl is in a sweatshirt. It low key drives me a little crazy, but it's one of the things that makes Lindsay Lindsay. So you can't complain, right? But this one I thought was so freaking cute because she also loves Mexican food. So I got the best of both worlds in a big blue sweatshirt that is her favorite color. And it says Nacho Average Bride. So I just thought this was so freaking hysterical. If you love Mexican food or your bride is a Latin girl, this is perfect for her. Um, and it's actually so comfortable. Like the quality of this is fantastic. Um, it's so soft inside, it literally feels like butter. Um, and it is lightweight, so my Lindsay, who likes to wear freaking hoodies in the summertime, I don't even know how, I, I would be dying. Um, she can wear this whenever her heart desires to put a sweatshirt on because uh, it's super lightweight. So I just thought this was such a cute, fun thing to get her and yeah, enough about that. It's so cute. All right, the last thing I got her that I think if you are the BFF of a bride, you have to get because it is just so meaningful is a customized card. So I got this one. It says to my best friend and on the inside it says Lindsay. Um, and it is just so beautiful. Etsy has some really, really, sorry, I know y'all can't see it that well. The lights are so blinding. Maybe if I hold it back here. Okay, didn't help that much. But in any case, Etsy has some of the most beautiful stationery for singular cards. I got everybody in my party, brother of the bride, bridesmaid, maid of honor, matron of honor, mother of the bride, father of the bride, mom, dad, everybody had a customized card to their title 
and I feel like details like that make it so special because let's face it the wedding is all about the unity of two families and who really help get you there so mom and dad mother-in-law father-in-law best friend sister-in-law they all deserve such a big thank you and personally my whole family flew to France so they went above and beyond to make my husband and I's wedding day so freaking special so when it came to wedding day and I had everything customized to that particular girl I even got bags with their names customized on it you know it makes it so special for them because let's face it they plan so much lingerie party bachelorette showers couple showers engagement parties so much goes into it on your friends and family side of it so to say thank you in a very special way it's something that the bride should do as well also i'm going to include this too for the day of the wedding my husband and i did do the exchange of notes um, where we held hands before we actually did see each other and i got him a card for that day that said to my groom and it it was so perfect to have that customized for him so etsy really has some awesome awesome stationery that you can customize it's very high quality it's very beautifully handcrafted depending on where you order from so i will link this i'm also going to see if i can find the links to the bridesmaid and the groom and mother and father-in-law and all of those cards as well because i think every bride needs to order those for the day of their wedding for their whole family and all of their friends that are part of their special day so if you have any questions on this feel free to shoot me a comment below i will respond back you can also follow me on instagram i'll put my um, username right here i respond to like literally 100 percent of the messages i get and i will also link everything i shared with you today below i am not affiliated with etsy or any of the sellers that I bought this stuff from, I bought all this with my own money, so I just wanted to share all of that with you and also give you some inspo to your girlfriend or your sister or whoever is in your life that is getting married and that deserves the best. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope it was helpful. Happy shopping to you if you are shopping for a special bride and congratulations to your friend or to you if you're a bride. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.